In this video, we will make sure that our um, projectiles has the right rotation when they're traveling towards their target. Because as you can see right now, when a tower is shooting at a monster, um, the, the projectile is not rotating in any way. And we will have to rotate it so that it points towards the target when it's, it's traveling towards it. So let's get started on that. To make our projectile face the target, we will have to open up our projectile script and add a few lines of code. And the code we'll have to add is inside the move to target function. Because we already have the code for moving towards the target. And when we are moving towards the target, we will also have to rotate in the right direction. So to do this, we will have to add some code underneath the transformed position. And we'll have to calculate the direction of the projectile. And when we have the direction, then we can calculate the angle and rotate it in the right angle. So let's say vector two called direction or dir equals target to transform the position minus transform the position. Okay. So this is a direction vector, right? Because we take target's position minus our own position, and then we get the direction. When we have the direction, we can calculate the angle by creating a new function, or not a function, a new um, float, and call it angle. And it needs to be equal to math f, and not math, <laughs> math f, and dot a t a n two. So what does this one do? Well, basically, it it takes like it can take um, two parameters. And from those two parameters, it can calculate um, the, the angle in radians, right? So we need to take the direction dot y, comma, direction dot x, and multiply it by math f dot radians to degrees. And basically, this whole code here, not going to go into big details, but this code here takes the direction and it actually turns it into um, some degrees, right? Um, based on the direction. So now we know which angle we need to use to rotate our projectile. And then we can say transform dot three to transform dot rotation is equal to quaternion dot angle axis. And then we can say we have our angle we just calculated and our vector three um, dot forward, I guess, forward because we need to turn it that right way. So basically, this code here should actually rotate our projectile in the right direction. So try to save this and jump back into Unity. And let's see if it works. Okay, so you can see it, it rotates, but it's turned in the wrong direction, kind of. So you can see it's it's running towards, uh, flying towards the enemy with the side. Let's try with the fire tower. And the fire tower has the right direction, as you can see. So why does the fire tower have the right direction and the thunder doesn't? Well, if we go to our um, sprites somewhere here and find our towers and our, um, let's see, not tower, sorry, uh, projectiles there. And see, you can see the fire and ice is turned to the right. And the lightning and poison is turned downwards, which means also when I would place the poison here, it will also have the wrong angle. It should also fly towards it with the side. And it does, right? So we need to open this and go to projectiles and just take this and rotate. So it has it's facing to the right. Um, and we need to do the same for the poison here. Ah. Um, rotate and rotate again and rotate and when you have rotated all the sprites you should be able to see inside the unity editor that all the sprites has the same direction now so let's try to play the game and see if this worked out um, the poison tower and the lightning tower because those were the ones that had some problems before let's see 
yeah and now you can see that the projectiles has the right direction so i'm not going to destroy the projectiles right now and do damage we will wait for that for another video so that's basically how you make the projectiles face in the right direction when they're traveling towards the target um, and that's all we wanted to do in this video so thank you very much for watching and remember to follow me on twitter like my facebook page and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already um, also don't forget that inscope studios is a community found page so all your support is very important to me first of all you can support me on patreon if you do so then you'll be able to get every single project that i've created for my youtube channel and that means you'll be able to go there and download every single asset and all the project files and test them out on your own computer you can also support me by getting one of my projects as a standalone product by clicking the link in the bottom of the screen so thank you very much for watching